repeat words, trying to repeat sounds and the rest of it. So we started stammering. It's a serial speech disorder. Okay, that is it. Mm. Now, can you share your experience with us? At what age did you notice you had this, like, uh, this uh, uh, d speech defect? Because I call it a speech defect. At what age did you have yours? Okay, that was at the age of four years, and it was there till the age of 24 years. Hmm. So, <laughs> that means you were in it for like 20 years before you overcame. Exactly. So tell us, how, how did it go with you? Oh. Uh, why, uh, at that young age, at four, you were able to notice your stammer? Of course I do. So how? how? Yes, because um, um, stammering is something that makes you feel lonely. It makes you um, um, want to hate yourself. You always say you are uh, uh, um, trying to dwell in self-pity um, all the time. So, during those years, it was not funny at all. I was um, 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 stigmatized, I was um, hated by so many persons, I lived um, on social life, I don't have anyone to call my own, so it was really bad um, um, growing up with this um, stamina of, of a thing. So it affected my life very well, it affected my social life very well, from the age of 4 years to the age of 24 years. It was a big, <laughs> a big um, 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 issue for me, on my side. So, what was the role of your parents in all this? Okay. How were they reacting from age 4 until you were 24? Were they supportive? How, how, what was their role? Okay, um, my dad and my mom were very, very supportive. Yes, I felt at home. Each time I'm with them or with my other and, 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 um, 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 siblings, I felt at home. I only feel the, um, the, um, the, um, the hate when I go out to meet um, people outside. So they supported me very well. They helped me a lot too. Now how did they help you? How? So that other parents can learn? Yes. My mom, um, she don't, um, 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 she don't always um, help me to, um, um, finish my work. Yes. You know, most times when you are um, trying to voice out something, you know, you tend to speak and speak and you see the person trying to help you. So my mom... Help you complete the yes, work. Yes, complete the work. So, and it's very, very bad. It hurts. So I see them, they... I know, would have thought that somebody was helping you out, like uh, seeing that you are in difficulty and trying to help you complete the work. No, it hurts. Hmm. It's, all, it's whether you allow us to, um, uh, 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 to finish what we want to say. Don't help us to... Um, finish it so in my house i feel at home because they help me to say what i want to say like i mean they help me to um, uh, 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 to um um finish my word for me and the rest of them so mm. they are very very supportive for me mm. okay um now let's delve into other mrs mr chibike you still tell us some things okay what is the, the psychology of summary in children the psychology of stammering in children. Well, um, this psychology in children is something that starts at the infant stage, at the point because the organ of speech is being developed in human brain. So at that point, when the organ of speech is developing, they will begin to stutter, they begin to stammer. It's a natural thing. So you're telling us that every child stammers at the point, everybody? Yeah, every child should stammer. Hmm. At the point they are trying to learn how to talk. So that zero to four years is something that is natural. So if it's not controlled or if the parents don't understand and they begin to push them, that is what it can lead. So that time is called the stamina of the mind. The here now is the mind now. It's the mind and the brain. So when it passes through that stage, it gets into secondary. So these are the two levels, the mind and the secondary stamina. Hmm. Yeah. So the mind stammering. Sylvia, you want to throw more light on that? Yes, I want to throw more light on that too. You know, um, it takes time before the lips, the tongue, the um, uh, um, vocal cord can um, um, come together and um, um, coordinate. So when a child is um, uh, um, trying to speak, 
you know it takes time then when you as a mom or dad is now i'm like ah, papa obi son can speak well why can't you speak well why can't you call me and uh, uh, um, dad why can't you call me mom so when you start to put that uh, uh, um, tension on, on your child that child will start to feel bad he will start to know so many things in his or her mind ah something is wrong with the way i speak oh they hate me i can't talk well therefore something is wrong with me that child will start to hide so many things he will start to hide so many things and um before you know it he will uh, uh, um accumulate more of it inside him and i start to hide it and from there it will um develop into what we call the secondary um stuttering so we advise at this stage that it is good you allow your child this point of um, 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 development is very very vital in every child because everybody passes through this stage so you must allow them to speak well you must allow them to form it themselves don't rush them because if, if you rush them they will end up being a stammerer for life okay okay um everybody stammers at a point and parents should stop comparing their children yes, with other children uh, now was your own stammering very chronic uh, tell us some of the things uh, you passed through you know while trying to speak okay yes my own was very very severe i passed through a lot most times i'm trying to say something i have to hit um <laughs> the next person i is um, uh, 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 very very um, um near to me i have to hit that person sometimes i have to uh, uh, um, hit my foot i have to you know make some um body and um, um movement mm. to say what i want to say so it was that bad for me mm. Okay, what are the, the behaviors, the ad, uh, negative behaviors or reactions you got from the public? Because you said at home you were cool with the behavior of your parents, yeah. or you were stigmatized more like in public. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you share some of your. People tend experience? to call you um, uh, um, a liar. Yes. At that point, they are trying to um, um, say something. Someone can tag you a liar. Hey, see her. Um, you can't say it again now because you are what you are uh, uh, lying. But inside you, you are actually um, uh, um, trying to force this word out, but it's not coming forth. So they tend to um, 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 disrespect you because that was the fear I always have: the fear of being um, um, disrespected by society, the fear of being seen as an insane people. But as an insane person, you are not insane, but you know because of the way you talk, the way you close your eyes, you know, you know the way you try to move your body because you want to air out something. So people will tend to look at you. Are you all right? You know that kind of thing. So I also saw that um, during my days of an uh, um, of an uh, stuttering, then people also um, 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 stigmatize, you know, us. Yes, they tend to. Uh, um, stigmatized and they will tell you no don't involve her she will go there and she will uh, mess the whole thing up don't involve her please you know that kind of thing i also uh, um saw that during those days so that was what the um the um the reactions i got from the um um public okay all right mr chibike can you tell us more of the challenges stammerers face Okay, um, the, the primary challenge they face is fear. They fear a lot because um, they don't know the outcome. I'm going to make this speech now. What will happen in between? Can I even start at all? What if there's a block? Because there's what they call block. At the point you are talking, it will just block. Um, you may not go further again. You know, the people will think that you are done talking. So when you begin to think about it, even before the actual time, fear will grip you. So they face fear, they face this stigmatization. They have this issue, you can't talk in the public. So the challenges that stammer as they face is fear, not being open. Their social life is always negative. Mm. Yeah. The social is always negative. They don't come out. They're always in their shell. They don't talk in the class. But one of the things that they, one of the things that happens to them is the fear of not being called upon. You know, when they are talking in the class and they're about to ask a question. If fear will come into you immediately, I hope they won't call me. Especially when it comes to prayer. 
I hope they will not come to summarize this prayer. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, those those days those days where I'm where I'm here to start speaking in public. I'm not a, I'm not actually a stammerer, but I'm not that good in public speaking mm. until I begin to face it up. Mm. I hardly I don't like praying in the public. Mm. This thing I'm telling you now happened to me before now. Mm. This fear of um coming to summarize prayer. Mm-hmm. But when I overcame it, I had to. I but I sit in the front. Mm-hmm. I even want them to come to summarize. That's how I I, I overcame mine. Mm-hmm. So this is these are the things they face. Mm-hmm. Public speaking is not in their blood, mm-hmm. you know. So because speaking, in fact, communication you cannot do without it. Mm-hmm. So any other communication, they are always on the backside. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really great challenge. Okay, Sylvia. So um, is stammering hereditary? Of course, it is. It is. Why do you say so? Yes, because we have uh, uh, um, two types of it. We have the natural aspect and we have the natural aspect. If in a uh, 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 um, in a family where it is very very un- un- um, common, there is a tendency that the child will actually um, so inherit. So in your family, one of your parents or both stammers. Yes, one of them stammers. My dad, to be precise, he stammers. Okay. Yeah, but you only know that when he is very very angry. Okay. Yes. So how many of your siblings uh, took to him? Three of us. Stammer in the house. Yes, stammer okay. in the house. But their own too is not that um, obvious, like mine. Okay, yours was the most serious. Yes. Now, um, in school, you're telling us that um, in school teachers have a role to play. Of course, they uh, do. So, what kind of problems do stammerers face at school? Yes, when we have um, um, a hard um, um, teacher, a strict one at, at that, you know, you tend to uh, uh, scare the child. Each time you um, um, enter the class, that child will be very, very afraid due to the way you are maybe, like in my own um, time, that was in my chest three years, a teacher came in to teach and at the end she asked an, uh, um, a question and she pointed at me. At that time, <laughs> it was still severe for me. In fact, uh, it was my neighbor that used to be my an, 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 um, mouthpiece thing. So this time, she cannot even help me out because I've been um, 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 pointed yeah, it's pointed to speak, so I have to stand up, and I know the answer, but I'm trying to you know to offer the words out, ha. using my chair, hitting on my chair, and it was so difficult. I'll answer, I'll stop, like I'll just um 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 I was uh, I was trying to break the answers. Okay, so this woman, she felt to understand what I was uh, 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 um, passing through at that point. She even um, um, <laughs> gave me <laughs> a punishment for not answering the question well. But inside me, I know the question, but I can't air it out because I am a stammerer. Mm-hmm. So they, they have to, you know, they are, you, you, you need to know your people. You need to uh, 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 study every child in your, in your, uh, 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 um, in your, in your, class okay and know what he or she can do okay mm. and then it will help because when you do that it also help the child mm. to improve well uh, do you advocate for stammerers to go to the same school with normal children uh, other children or there should be a special school for stammerers no they should go to um the same school with other children why because this issue of uh stammer can actually um be overcome yes he can overcome it mm. so i advise them to to attend the same school with other children and mingle with them, you can overcome it. So, yes, there is hope. So, are there tips to how did you overcome your stammering? Share with us. Yes, that was in my year one. In my year one, that day we had um, a, a youth, uh, a kind of. Um, yeah, um, year one in the university? Yes, in the university. A prayer um, 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 gathering in, in the church. So, that time I stood up to say something in the church. I just love to say something and at a point I couldn't say anything again. I tried to force myself to say something, it was not an um coming forth. You know that time I felt like oh that the whole world should just open, let me fall inside because I was so 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 ashamed of what happened that day. Uh-huh. So every person, even some person was like, I look at you, why did you even stand up? You can't say something, you're just standing up, you're just here to waste our time, you know, that kind of thing. I was very um uh, um hearing some persons saying such thing but within me i have something to say i want to say it, but i can't say it because it's not a uh, um, comment forth so after that day i said to myself no he, uh, um 
it is high time I I I I I, I face this. Okay, so I said that I'm going to um, um, challenge it. How do I do that? First of all, you need to because our number one um, 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 enemy is fear. Fear, fear are, are um, instigated very well. So I said to myself, no. From this day henceforth, if I, if, I, if, if I want to say something, I must let them know that this is who I am. I stammer, and you have to listen to me. You have to pay attention to what I'm saying. Even if I have to take from now till um, uh, 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 um, four, four uh, uh, um, o'clock to finish what I, I, I want to say, you have to listen to me. So I was just doing that. I'll, I'll first of all tell you that I am a, an, 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 um, a an, um, stammerer, that you have to hear me out. So I was just doing that and I was able to overcome that fear, okay? Yes, we all are, 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 are stammer, but we are not afraid to speak again. Mm -hmm. We stand up and we speak and we air our fear and the people, they listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was able to overcome that. At least without fear of not saying something, you are out there to say what you want to say, no matter how you say it, okay? It's because most pe persons, they tend to and, and confuse our... our uh, um, speed of speech with our speed of thoughts which is not right but that's it so i i, I faced it and the fear ran out mm. so that was your starting point at overcoming mm. stammering all right if you're just tuning in the program is let's stop marriage and today we're beaming our searchlight on children who stammer in the family some parents have them and they keep hiding them they don't bring them out so we brought somebody who has been through that path and was able to overcome and today she's living a normal life for her to share her experiences with us and then you'll learn as a parent or if your child is stammering so that you will know the right attitude and as teachers what should you do if you come across children in your class who stammer who stutter what do you do okay um what is your experience well, what is and what was your experience with uh GSM that is answering phone calls <laughs> as a stammerer. Okay, oh no, in fact, eh, that's one. Each time my phone rings, like it's a big, <laughs> a big and uh, uh, um, fear for me to be sincere with you. You is always um like, why did this phone ring now? Why? How am I going to answer this call? To say hello is a very big. A, 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 um, challenge for me that time. So what I do is this: I just speak the call. <laughs> Hello, it's not coming forth. What I'll do is just to hang the phone and then um, give you a text. Sorry, the network was very very bad. Can we chat, please? That's it. So mm. I'm trying to run away from that because I can't talk on phone. So it was a very bad one. But now, when I receive a call, first of all, you have to um, take. A fresh and bright, okay, and then you answer the call, it goes on because there is no more fear there, okay, there is no fear in what you're trying to do. So you answer your call and you move on, mm. and that would have been going. So now I don't um, tag it to um, network issue any longer because <laughs> I can answer my phone call very well. Network has really so <laughs> far. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Chibike, what has been your experience working with uh, people who stammer? My experience working with them? Yeah, with them, their fears, their challenges, and um, what do you think uh, people around them should do to help them? Well, um, first of all, to accept them, you know, to accept them, because if you don't accept them, you really cannot work with them. And then you also, when you accept them, you give them the time, allow them to talk. Be patient enough. That is why if you hear her clearly, she will first of all tell you that she's a stammer. So if those people can give her that time, she will talk and she will she will just go flow flow. Mm -hmm. But the fear is no longer there. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling people now to allow them to talk. Because truly this stammering of a thing. I know I told him in primary school, one boy I was sitting close to a boy that is a stammerer. My laughs. The guy used to hit my laughs. You know, he'll be hitting me. He'll be hitting my laughs just to talk. So I did being I I because of him change my position or come report to a teacher. He might be too. so I already have started accepting them before now. Okay, so I'm working with her to is something that is good because this is what I, I like doing too, to help people come out of this. Really tell them that 
you, this is not a physical disability, it's something you can overcome. Oh. Only kill that fear oh. and you move on. All right. Uh, Sylvia, you're a banker today and uh, I'm wondering, how did you get the job? What, how, how did you attend the interview? <laughs> how did you scale through? Okay, um, just like I said before, I will always um, 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 introduce myself. Okay, generally, and the panel, yes, when you got to the yes, panel, what yes. did you do? I, I after uh, um, introducing myself, I told them that I am a stammer, that my speech uh, may, I like, I, 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 may, I, I break some parts of it that should help me to um, gather them, okay? That this is what happens. I am a, a stammer. I have this speech disorder, but that, that doesn't mean that I cannot do this job very well. So please help me and hear me out. So when I did that, they said okay, and they listened. They listened to me and did you spend up to two hours? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I did spend up to two hours. But um, the good thing is that they listened. Yes, they did not um, 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 rush me out or you know. Try to yes, they listen to what I have to say and they accepted me and to God be the glory. You got the job. <laughs> yes. Okay, Chairman Jones Kenneth. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if you have a question to ask. We're talking about children with yes. uh, special needs, children who stammer. Yes. Um you have a question to ask before we take calls. Meanwhile our phone number is open on nine oh three eight five three seven oh nine two. 0903-853-7092 If you have a question to ask about stammering, okay, okay. call it up. Good day, good day, listener out there. I am sure you guys are enjoying the program. I want to ask this question to Sylvia. I know that people that, are, that have special ability, I don't want to use the word disability, mm. they have this kind of gift, naturally, divine, by God, somehow. That is embedded in them. Can you tell us wh where is your strength? Where is your gift? What talent do you can you say? Okay, I display this even though I stammer, but I am perfect in this area. Tell us. Okay. Um. I love um 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 talking. You love talking? Sincerely, I do. That's incredible. I <laughs> love, like I love um, 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 impacting lives through. And, and, uh, um, through teaching, okay. So I do this and I I love it. So I think each time I'm done with this, I feel this inner joy inside me. So most of the time, I, I, I just uh, uh, um, um, say to myself, but why do you um, uh, um, stammer since you love talking. talking? So how are you going to uh, um, overcome this? That was why I said I have to face the fear, even if it will not go out, but let that fear, okay, disappear from me, so I can be able to air my speech anyway, okay. So what I think I have inside of me is this, um, uh, 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 um, the desire to impact lives through um, um, teaching. Sure. Yes, I love that very, very well. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that also shows that you're a good leader. Because just take for instance what happened to Moses when yes. Moses said that he cannot, mm -hmm. and God didn't see people that can talk fluently mm -hmm. to give the leadership position, yeah. he now chose Moses, Moses yes. and eventually he delivered. Yeah. So just keep it up, okay? Yeah. Somehow, somehow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, the program is still let's talk marriage and treasure of um, 98.5. If you want to call us, our lines are open 0903 853. 7092 and 0818 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Now, um, I'll into your private life, life a little because this is Let's Talk Marriage. You came here with your husband, <laughs> actually, Mr. Chibike is the husband, and they're working as a team. So, how did you guys meet, Mr. Chibike? Well, um, we met on Facebook. Really? Yes. Mm. It's something. That, tell me about it. <laughs> it's something I need to say with my strength because uh, the people say a lot of bad things happen on Facebook. Mm. But I met my destiny in Facebook. 
Okay, you call that destiny. Not really. <laughs> yeah. So I met her on Facebook. How did it happen? Tell us. Well, just a normal chat. We just started chatting. Just I have up to four thousand friends, but when God told me that this person is a wife, you know, because marriage is a mystery, spiritual. So you believe in that, you believe in God, and God directed me, and it was from Facebook. We started chatting before you know it. I requested for her contact. We started talking because I look at her post, I look at her... Um, you know, this angel has started before our uh, marriage. So she has been posting things like that, her post, the pictures okay, and everything. Okay, um, yeah. children was Tama? Uh, on Facebook, Tama. yes. Mm. There's a page for it on Facebook and all okay. those things. So when I look through the profile and all those things, I ventured into that and we started talking and we exchanged contact. Okay. Yeah. So, Sylvia, um, were you open enough to tell him that you're a Tamara? <laughs> And I said yes, I was. Mm. Yes, I uh, I've gotten to a stage where I don't need to hide um, my identity again. I have to tell you who I am, mm. and it's not left for you to accept me. So I told him that I am a, a stammerer, mm. and he's okay yeah, with so it. Okay. Yes. So how has it been? So journey to marry. Tell us about <laughs> uh, the step you took after that. How long have you guys been married? Share your experience with us, maritally, how has it been, the ups and downs, <laughs> the happy moments, the challenging moments? Well, I'm married... First off, did you have all the money you needed before you started making arrangements? <laughs> 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 well, uh, like I said, if God says yes, nobody can say no. Mm. You know, uh, like I said before, marriage is a mystery. It's like you like God, they love yes. <laughs> Without God, you cannot do anything. And the, in a marriage, it's like a triangle. Mm. God first, and then the both spouse are down. Mm. You move marriage, you marry, you move God, you marriage will crash. Mm. You know, so I first of all believe in that, and then I put God first. Mm. So in in marriage, marriage is sweet. Mm. Yeah, I will tell you, it's sweet. But as time of